Oh. Stupid. <clears throat> Hi, Cara Sangri is reporting to you from Skimming Camp back in Ottawa. Uh, the international group got back about two days ago on the 18 hour flight, which wasn't exactly fun. I was placed in Remotua, Botswana, which is only about half hour drive out of Gaborón. My work placement was at a youth center, which was called Southeast District Youth Empowerment League, or SEDIAL for short. We um, just gardened, um, pulled some weeds, and pretty much hung out with the whole everyone. <laughs> um, but we also went on a safari. We went to a wedding, we um, stayed at this beautiful camp slash resort on the safari, which was pretty cool. And they had running showers! <laughs> I know, it's just, but um, we were there for about six and a half weeks with my group. There's me, Sire, Amber, Brian, and Jacob. A group of leaders were Kara, Shane, and Marina. And it's been a really interesting whole trip. My homesickness kind of got the best of me the last few days, but it's what happens when you're away from home for such a long time. Um, what else did we do? The wedding was amazing. It was a two-day wedding, <coughs> which I gotta say was way much better than the ones back here at home, for sure. Uh, makes me think about getting married there someday. <laughs> but, um, um, we also went <clears throat> to a deaf school, and we just hung out there for about two or three hours with the kids, sign languaging them in a way, which is pretty cool. And I also have a that's one a name. Oh my god, the leaves. <laughs> um, I got a Setswana name, which is pronounced Butumelo. Butumelo. <laughs> it means happiness. And I got it. It's a very interesting name. It's the same as uh, one of the workers back at Sedio. Her name, her name was Butumelo, too. And, um, and we also went to a junior high school which was about 20 minutes out of remote spot. It's called Tong. Tong. And we did a presentation to them, and they did a presentation to us about Botswana also, which was really cool. We showed them some traditional games, and then we they showed us some traditional games also. And I actually really like it. They give up playing one of the games here. Um, but... Yeah, I really liked staying with my group. I'm so happy I went this year, and I strongly re recommend that one of you, or any one of you, do the NYA Canadian and International Phase one day. I promise you, you will not be sorry. Sorry, that's Brian. He's uh, playing with his horn. So... <laughs> Yeah, we also went to a football slash soccer game, which was in Gaborone, and we got some pretty, one of those soccer horns out of them or something, so they're really annoying, but it was Botswana versus Kenya, and, <laughs> and we won 1-0. So, yeah, um, I'm so glad to be back home with everyone, including Brian. <laughs> and I'll be home in about two days from now. So, I guess we'll see what happens from there. Bye!